More than two-thirds of Americans have cell phones, but there's long been a question, does heavy cell phone use hurt human health? Lindsay Davis reports on a major new study which for the first time shows cell phones do seem to have some mysterious effect on the brain. Some are calling the study a landmark event in our understanding of how cell phones affect the human body. 47 participants had cell phones placed on their left and right ears. One cell phone was activated but muted, the other was turned off. After 50 minutes, the researchers took PET scans of the subjects. Look at what they found. The image on the left shows what happened when the cell phone was turned on. The most active areas are in red. Notice the upper right part of the brain. That's the area closest to the antenna. Compare that with this image on the right of the same subject when they had their cell phones turned off. The researchers were hoping to determine if the radiation from the cell phones had any physiological impact at all. I confess that after the findings, I changed my behavior. So now I use it on a speakerphone, I just put a wire on my earphones. For years, studies have tried to link cell phones and cancer, but they've been inconclusive. Experts say this new study offers perhaps the first real step in the search for an answer. This is a study that uh, is interesting and will pro almost certainly provoke additional studies. We have a responsibility to investigate whether there are or there are not long-lasting consequences from repeated stimulation after five or ten years of cell phone exposure. CTIA, the Wireless Trade Association, told us the leading global health organizations have overwhelmingly indicated that wireless devices are not a public health risk. Still, an editorial accompanying the study said that the findings warrant further investigation. And it sure gets your attention. Yes. Thank you, Lindsay.